Hey, what's up guys? This is Luke from the Cardboard Review, and this is Retail Review number 25. Today I'm going to be opening up a blaster of 2010-2011 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Upper Deck Series 2 this year was actually um, pretty rare. Boxes of this, at least on the hobby side, go for well over $100. It's really hard to find. Upper Deck really short printed. Um, 2010 11 series 2 for whatever reason and uh, so it is hard to find um, when I was buying this I bought three boxes of hobby and um, you know at, at the $60 price per box and I didn't think anything of it but now I wish I'd gotten some more because um, the stuff is rare I actually did pull a Tyler Sagan rookie um, but only one I traded it away um, and I get I got like three Pi RV rookies and I guess you know Pi RV that year and Sagan that year were really kind of the the two main draws of series two. But <clears throat> you know I got three Pi RVs and one Sagan. I wish it was the other way around. Um, here's the side of the box, Taylor Hall on the side. Lots of great rookies this year, obviously. Um, and so I'm really interested to see what I got. This box only did cost me, it says it said $19.95 on this sticker, or 1998, but um, it really did only cost me $10. I got this on the Black Friday special from DA Card World, but even then, I think the original price is only $14.95. So if you want to pick up this more rare Upper Deck product, <clears throat> uh, I think DA Card World has them for a decent price. But let's just go ahead and rip into the packs and see what we get. Here we go. I remember this product very well. Looks like we have a victory insert card of Keith Ballard and a couple more base. Bought a lot of this product. 2010-11 was a really great year in terms of hockey cards and the hobby. A lot of great things to look forward to. Great rookie class. And we have a base pack there. I think always buying 2010-11 products is pretty safe because of just the cool stuff you can pull. Um, let's see, we have a retro card of Justin Williams. So Upper Deck had retro cards this year, and a victory rookie of Ryan Reeves. And a base card, and... And there are 12 packs in this box, so quite a few packs. I'm looking for two young guns. Hopefully not a Pi RV, but I'll probably pull one, given my luck. Really looking for a Sagan, Tyler Sagan rookie. That'd be really great. Let's see what we get here. Todd White, victory card. And then base. Okay, looks like we have a Hockey Heroes of Bobby Orr. Now they're doing the Hockey Heroes by year. That was kind of the older design of Hockey Heroes. And we have Brian Finley, or Fahey, victory rookie card. Still haven't hit a young gun yet. I'm getting concerned with uh, five packs to go. Let's see if one comes up. It looks like here is one. All right, let's see who we get. All right, let's see. This is Jared. I can't even read the name. Jared Spurgeon. Not very familiar with Jared Spurgeon. Definitely not a household name, that's for sure. But then again, you know, in Series 2, it is pretty hard to pull a great young gun. Um, usually Series 2, the young gun crop is much lesser. And here's my other one. Eric Wellwood. So, no Tyler Sagan. But that's okay. And base. Like I said, it is pretty difficult to pull some of the greater cards. Travis Hamannick, victory rookie card. And base. That was kind of cool. Rick DiPietro with all that pink on. And our final pack. Anything? Jason Arnott, victory base card. 
So overall, not a really great blaster, actually, not great at all. Got a bunch of victory cards, which is pretty standard in Upper Deck Series 2. And some victory rookies. The Young Guns, unfortunately, not the best. Uh, some victory rookies, a Bobby Orr, and a Retro. Nothing to write home about, unfortunately, but hey, 995 for 2011 Series 2 Hockey, not bad. And a chance at a Sagan. So, there you have it. Look for another retail review next week, number 26. This was number 25. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.